Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how to sit on the wobble cushion. Okay, so this will work on most chairs. You just need a firm base. Okay, the important thing to, is to make sure that your backside is behind you and you can use the air and the dynamics that the wobble cushion allows you to get that. So you want that nice lordosis in the spine and you want to sit actively with the legs at approximately 90 degrees. Okay, so what this does, it enforces active sitting. Okay. Look at the difference when I'm not sitting on it. So I'll take this away. Okay. So automatically you tend to see postural collapse. Okay. I can sit tall like that, but the beauty of the wobble cushion is that it creates innate active sitting and naturally you tend to stack your pelvis, your torso, your shoulders, and your head in a more positive way without having to think about it all day long. So it's active sitting. It's a great trick. Now to take further advantage of the wobble cushion, you want to do pelvic tucks. So this is a bit like the transition from neutral and flat spine. I call them the Michael Jacksons, okay? So you can do that intermittently throughout your day. What you can also do is lift one buttock and the other buttock, okay? These are all good activities to stay active, okay? And the other one is navel to knee, which is sort of an oblique movement, navel to knee. So it's almost halfway between the pelvic tuck and the buttock lifting. And you can also do circuits one way and the other. So again, the main um, condition that this uh, wobble cushion um, allows is that it allows you to sit actively. And the idea is that while you're sitting actively, you are actually decompressing your lower back.